I sometimes run an X checklist on this, but we'll wing it today. Hopefully all is well. Come down here. We'll turn the battery on. Leave the uh, avionics off. We'll do... Come up here, we'll just put the panel on. Put the uh, beacon light, it's good there. Strobe can stay off. We'll arm the left side. We won't worry about resetting. Make sure that my mixer's working. There we go, we're in fuel cutoff. All that works. Okay, turbine coming up. Let it hit uh, 12% and we'll go low idle. Iowa Scotsman, how you doing? Clay W21 loves the 1900. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's it's been a while since I've flown it actually. Looks like we got a good engine start. Over there, let's do uh, arm the ignition on this side. And we'll start the left, uh, left side. the right generator on left generator on AC bus reset here avionics can come on there we go all right pedo heat uh, Come over here to the bleed valves. Ignitions can come off. Auto feather is off for the, the moment. We'll come down to the pedestal here and we'll do a rudder boost. It's looking pretty good. If I bring up the autopilot here, we do EFIS power. Boeing engineer, long time no see, hope you're well. Had to do a complete reinstall of X-Plane, something broke. Ouch. Yeah, I I have a lot of backups of uh, X-Plane, so I hopefully don't have to do that very often. But it's not a bad idea to start fresh every once in a while. All right, I'm going to turn, I'm going to put on some noise canceling headphones here. And uh, we'll zoom in here, and we're going to click on, as you can see here, I'm using the GNS uh, 530. We're going to go direct. Actually, let's, let's, let's test something. Let's go flight plan, and then we'll go uh, procedure. Let's see if there's a departure procedure. We're coming out of, nope, there's no departure procedure, so never mind. So we'll go um, flight plan. And we'll put in our new definition, destination of Little Rock, which is L I. Oops. T. It's so handy to use the inner and outer knob on the real sim gear. It's really handy. Okay, there's Little Rock. Yep, there's the METAR for GTR. Thank you. So we got uh, winds are calm, I guess. Uh, one thing I should do is project fly. 
Is it true they're charging for Project Fly? I heard a rumor. Bookings. We're going to create a new booking. We're going KGTR, Golden Triangle Regional. We're going to Little Rock. Manually enter the booking. We're going to choose the 1900. And we're offline for right now. Snack Air 5721. Uh, VFR charter, boom, that looks good. Paste the route, dispatch, fly now. Uh, they're charging only for gold. Haven't they always charged for gold? I thought something had changed recently. Okay, we got Project Fly Banner up at the top now, which is excelente. Make that a little bit bigger. It's all open at the moment. Oh, okay. That's that's I'm glad I'm updated. Okay, so we're gonna put on prop coming up. We can go high idle. Let's taxi out. I think we can go. Yeah, we'll go out this way. Here we go. This is an FS economy run. We're going to be running a bunch of passengers down to Little Rock, and then time permitting, we'll take a pick up a bunch of uh, passengers from Little Rock and go elsewhere. Is Nightbot broken? What's happening with Nightbot? Nightbot got the METAR from Nightbird. Okay, auto logging into FS economy. Can we exit? I think we can. We don't have to turn here necessarily, but we will. What the heck? As far as I know, I'm still being charged for gold. Okay. I I had heard a rumor that that they were going to be charging for everyone and there I guess there was some backlash, but um I just didn't I didn't hear the facts. I I didn't know if any if it was just can Conjecture or theory or statement or fact. So I was curious about that. They sent an email asking for support. Oh, I haven't seen that email. All right, let's set uh, barometer to 3001. And we'll also go flaps. Yeah, we'll go one one notch of flaps. Yeah, it's a good service. I think I think the community should support them for their work. I I kind of wish they would economize a few things, if you know what I mean. Okay, hold short. Come up here, we'll put landing lights on, nav lights on, any collision, beacon flight, strobe flight, uh, cabin lights on, reading lights on, fasten seat belt signs on. Checking left gen, right gen, looks good. We're gonna I'm gonna have the auto feather off. We should be squawking. Set, set at, set transponder on. Set transponder one two zero zero. Oh, you guys haven't had sound this entire time. My bad. That's that's typical for John Fly streams, though, huh? No engine noise. Uh, I am in. Let's see. Where is GTR? Is GTR Mississippi? 
So yeah, no no pilot edge coverage in Mississippi. You thought it was just you? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take off. Actually, we can show you before I take off. We can show you where what we're doing on the ch on the Navigraph charts. So Navigraph charts. We're gonna do flight, new flight. Uh, K G T R. K L I T. Create. All right, so we're flying westbound so we'll do a VFR altitude so a westbound altitude plus 500 so maybe 8,500 um, here's the world map in case you wanted to know that so yeah so we're gonna take off from uh, Mississippi and we'll fly northwest up to Little Rock Arkansas quick flight 195 miles so not terribly quick but should be a good time Morning, Scotty P. Alt F8. Can't stick around. Hey, thanks for uh, Cr King Crimson, that new King Air 350. I'll fly that soon on stream if, if you can get that livery out and ready for me. Thank you for doing all that. All right, let's go take off. Soon. I like it. I like it. All right, full prop, full high idle. Flaps are in. We got to make sure we clean those up. I'll give you guys a little bit of sound for takeoff. There we go. There's 80 knots, 90, rotate. Okay, positive rate. We'll go gear up. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. And we'll go clean up the flaps a little bit. I can do one of these views again. Yeah, that works. Alright. We'll bring up and we'll put on the noise canceling headphones. Turn out that way just a little bit here. Trim up the aircraft. And what I'm going to do is uh, go over to the autopilot. Let's go autopilot. Yaw damper on. Sync up the heading bug and go heading mode. And then let's do vertical speed. And we'll go up 600 feet per minute. And we'll bug up 80. Should we go 8,500 or should we go higher? Yeah, we'll go 8,500. All right, altitude, select, go on. We can go up at 800 feet per minute. Tylenol with wings says, can't believe they crashed Drasco, Dra Draco. I know, I was cra it was crazy. Fish go blue 85 with the subscribe. All right, now we're gonna reach down here. Thank you, Fish go blue. This, uh, this uh, direct Little Rock is brought to you by Fishco Blue. So we'll highlight Little Rock as you can see here on the Sim PC. And then I'm going to hit the Direct To button and hit Activate. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit the CDI button, change that to GPS. And then I'll hit Nav. And there's our turn out to uh, destination. I uh, think thank you for the subscribe Jay Barrett with the subscribe Well arm auto feather uh, Jay Barrett with the subscribe 28 month streak Two years for fish go blue Yep, oh baby 
I don't see any Twitch babies. Those are only ever nine months. Nine months. I've always been told there are two types of pilots: those who crash and those who, those those who've crashed and those who will crash. Yeah, I I guess in hindsight, the Draco um, crash, which you can see a video of it, it, it was it was gusting. He should have chosen a different runway. Um, all in, you know, it's all well, you know, it's easy to to hindsight second guess, but. I guess the Matar wasn't too friendly for that type of aircraft. All right, let's redo the direct two to kind of sync that up. Boom. There we go. We can raise the torque a little bit here. Keep it out of the yellow. Um, I'm going to lower the prop RPM just a very small amount. Yeah, he'll re he'll rebuild. Yeah, isn't he from my state? Isn't he from Utah? I think he's from Utah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you got the two-year badge, Fish Go Blue. You got the GTN 750. So anyone with a GTN 750's two-year chat badge. The globe is the one year, if that makes sense. I and, and pretty, I can't remember if I have a. Uh, I can't remember if I have a three-year chat badge set up yet or not. I think I do. That was number twenty-four, the last one built. Ooh. Wow. Got some ortho photo down here in Mississippi. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty accurate. We got a subscribe. Real nobody zero with a subscribe. We got a subscribe. Anniversary sub next month. Anniversary next month indeed. Thank you, real nobody zero. Coming up on a year. Thank you very much for the support. This panning is brought to you by real nobody zero. So what do you guys think? The Fed's going to raise rates or keep rates the same? And they're going to raise just, are they going to lower it? Sorry, are they going to lower it a point, you know, a quarter point? Or are they going to keep them the same? I think they're going to lower it. They're, they're going to announce in four and a half minutes. Market should go up. Yeah, lower 0.25. That's what I'm thinking. I think they shouldn't, but I'm in the minority on that probably. All right, we're at 6,100, climbing it to 8,500. Definitely lower, they need it. Nah, the, the economy is not, they need more, they can only lower rate, lower rates four, uh, eight more times. <laughs> they can only lower the Fed rate eight more times before you get to zero, right? So keep your ammunition for when the economy is not good. The economy is okay right now. That's my opinion. But with that being said, it's they're 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 gonna lower it, um, and that will be good for some of my positions. But so S and P is down eight points. The Nasdaq's down forty five points. The Dow's down 49 points. And FedEx is continuing to drop. FedEx yesterday was 170-something, right? Today it's 149. Oh, snack. All right, we can increase our torque with altitude. Just a little more torque. That's a great plane. This plane holds holds a lot of people. How many does this hold? This hold 19 or so or 20 or 21? It's 19, isn't it? No, what is it? 19, okay. 19 passengers. They're bringing me my Rift S today just as long, so just so long as 
that gets here. Yeah, I've got a delivery coming um, tomorrow from FedEx as well. I think that um, I think FedEx did drop their their um, relationship with Amazon. Uh, don't misspell snack air. You lose four snacks every time you misspell snack air. Eight rows plus of one plus one and one row of three in the back. Ah, okay. D money three twenty seven. Let us know how the rift is. Still toying with the idea of upgrading. Yeah, definitely give us a report. I've heard some positive things about the rift S. I don't think it's at the resolution yet that John Fly wants, but. And we got a, Je let's see, let's see, Jehovah Von, Fer Von Fersen, Fersen has converted his prime sub to a tier one sub. Thank you, Jehovah Von Fersen. I appreciate the support. Autocorrect got you. Yeah, that happens. I do like the idea of not having the other eyes. Yeah, am I don't know if it was Amazon dropping FedEx as much as it was FedEx dropping Amazon. I don't know the particulars, but that is a that is that's a pretty big deal. So, all right, we're at our cruise at eight thousand five hundred. If we got a hundred and seventy-two miles to go, do you think we should go higher? I'm thinking we should go higher for fuel economy, but. Twelve five. All right, let's do it. Let's go to twelve five. All right, we're gonna come down here to the altitude set, and we'll go twelve five. All right, and then we'll come up to the autopilot, and we'll go altitude select vertical speed up. Oops, not down. There we go. All right, we're going to 12.5. UPS regularly takes until 8 p.m. to deliver to my house. FedEx around 2 to 3. USPS, though, surprisingly, delivers by 10 a.m. USPS is always late for me. And FedEx is... FedEx and UPS are usually in the evening. I guess it depends on the class of service, but... I think Amazon dropped them because Amazon's expanding their own fleet. No, I think they've expanded their, I think their terms, their, their, their cut is, I guess, probably the issue maybe, but I don't know the details, but. All right, here we go. Fed fund rate did get cut a quarter point. And the Fed vote rate, Fed, Fed vote to cut rates was seven to three amongst the uh, population. And you know that's ex that's what was expected. I don't. Markets don't seem to be moving that much in relation to that announcement. So it's now down to one point seven five. So again, you only got seven cuts left. You think. You think Atmalt thinks Amazon's a really dodgy company, had a bit bad experience with them? I've had nothing but great experience with them. Um, I love being able to go to a shop, find what I'm looking for. I love how I can cost compare to other entities. Amazon's cheaper. I love Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is, um, uh, Amazon Prime is, is awesome because I don't have to pay any shipping. Boeing engineer, what's up, Crabbin? Tomorrow's my birthday, too. Sharing it with you, buddy. Boeing engineer, happy birthday. I hope that you have a great day, and may you hang out in your birthday suit all day long, and may the hair on your toes never fall off, as the Hobbit land would say. Thank you for the subscribe. Uh... Yeah, so anyway, I, I like Amazon. The other thing about Amazon, right, is Amazon is a... Amazon, in some ways, is like the mall. 
there's a bunch of stores that run themselves that are on inside Amazon, right? So when you buy something, you're not actually getting it from Amazon. You're getting it from another company, but they're selling through Amazon, right? So you get the customer support, the ability to do returns easily. I mean, when I have a, 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 a I order an item and I have a, I do a return, whenever I process that return and I drop that off at UPS, they have they print out a label. I don't have to pay for shipping. As soon as that that label is uh, recognized as being received in the system, Amazon Im- immediately issues a credit. Quick. Yeah. One to two hour delivery would be amazing. That would be nice. Uh, the other thing that Amazon is related to is Twitch. <laughs> Amazon owns Twitch. You guys ever heard of Twitch? Uh, the dirts, you were at 0.25 for a long while now at 0.75. In the UK, they're at 0.75. Your, your, your rate. I don't know if, I don't think you call it a fed fund rate. You probably, uh, I don't know if work will be okay with me coming in my birthday suit. Uh, That's probably true. You shouldn't work on your birthday though. Base rate. Okay. I can't repeat that, T buddies. <laughs> Got to go check on the new alpaca, two days old and doing well. See you Friday in Elko. All right, see you in Elko, Black Sheep. And also, one of these days, I want to interview you on, if you don't mind, I want to interview you live on um, raising alpacas. And I'm being dead serious. I have, I have about a dozen questions with regard to raising alpaca. So maybe you can do an interview with me live. Inquiring minds want to know about the alpaca life. And I'm serious. Yeah, prime movies are good. Prime TV shows are good. Yeah, I'm a big fan. All right, we got 146 to go. Buying the kids one as a wedding present. Uh, the you mean the uh, alpaca <laughs> or a prime movie <laughs> or a prime membership? For some reason, my uh, Nightbot chart is not updating. Oh, yes, it is. There it was. It just needed to be refreshed. So there we are uh, coming over, coming up to Grenada. (laughs) How would you say that in Mississippi? Grenada or Grenada? Duck Hill, just to the south. The other thing we should look at is if I do an exclamation mitar, K-L-I-T, Blake looks like an alpaca kind of guy. <laughs> There's lit one two zero at six. I I I I I like the alpacas for sure. All right, one two zero at six. Um, if we open the charts list at Little Rock, we got an ILS four. Um, it's one two zero though. All right, Uh, probably should land. Well, I mean, it's negligible on the winds, but I would say it's probably going to be runway four. Yeah. Four left. If we go to the taxi diagram, do we want to do four right? General aviation is over here, so we got, yeah, four left would be perfect. We'll exit at Papa, go down Delta. Yeah, that'll work. So ILS 